Uh, so then we went to a match. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> we don't have any of them tonight. No. And when we have, they're not very long. No, it was Jay Uso versus the Miz and uh, Jimmy Uso and Miss Dow on the outside. And it was about five minutes long. Yeah, it wasn't the best match. Like, it, you can't complain about saying it was bad. No, it just worked. It was just a match. It's average. Yeah. Miss one. Yeah. Rolled him up. It, right. I've noticed with Miss wins, other than the one time they've won the championship, he only ever wins when there's no championship on the line. Yeah. <laughs> he wins yeah. quite a bit. But he loses championships very yeah. easily. It's the nerves they get to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, darling. Of course. <laughs> um, and then uh, Daniel Bryan come out and started speaking. And again, it's the same old thing, but rewritten. I'm yeah. coming back. They thought I couldn't. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm coming I'm back, I'm here. I haven't wrestled yet, but I'm here. And Stephanie come out promo in her DVD to him. That just had a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> can't breathe. She can't breathe. <laughs> and um, she was like, Stephanie was like, oh, are you sure you're ready to come back? I know everyone believes in you, but do you really believe in yourself? Believe! They should have pulled both out. <laughs> do you believe in yourself, mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan? Do you believe? Those right, shirts sound does, good as well. Yeah, my dad's match sounds really good, so bring yeah. him back. Hurry yeah. up. He must be really injured. Yeah. Like, well, it's okay to be out six weeks. Where is he? Yeah. But, right. When it makes sense, Daniel Bryan doesn't win Royal Rumble, he's all right. Maybe I'm not ready. And then my dad <laughs> comes out like, do you believe in yourself? <laughs> That'd be brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, we should write this stuff. I think, um... As long as you pay us. He should do a song. <laughs> An inspirational song. Oh. If you ever leave. Yeah. No. Do it like the song from uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, you know. When you dream, you dream in a world of your imagination. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Like that tune. Like, if you believe. It can be creepy. We can make it creepy. Yeah. Yeah. I love dancing with children, do like... If you believe. Yeah. Oh, no, we... <laughs> We're not put on this. We can't tell yeah. them our things. So Someone's good. stealing our ideas yeah. and taking them to WWE. But not the good ones. It's like no. the occasional ambulance match. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of jack match. Um, that was awful. But they made them terrible. <laughs> they did not do it how we would Employ want. Employ us. Come on, people. Start a petition. Yeah. You know the drill. Um, I don't know why I just kissed you all. That was really weird. <laughs> Grab a cat. <laughs> that was so cute. I still can't get over that. <laughs> this is so cute. I know. Anyway, we're talking about Daniel Bryan. <laughs> I um, thought we should sit in a fire glass. <laughs> so darling. Yeah. Anyway, Daniel Bryan. Yes. So then Stephanie's like, Joe, you know what if you're so ready? Then you can, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> then you can come back on SmackDown in a match, which has been advertised on Facebook for like two, three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did None not. of us knew. None of us are social. Do you know what? I did not see that coming. No. I was in absolute O-N-G. shock. O-N-G. And do you know what? It's against Kane, which was already promoed. And it's like, I did O-N-G. not know. <laughs> oh my God. I oh thought it was God. just a rumour. I actually haven't been on Facebook in like two weeks. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I haven't even been on Twitter. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Okay. Like, no. Anyway, Kane comes out with his bad self. <laughs> <laughs> he's like swag. And, um, yeah, him and Daniel Bryan start beating each other up. Yeah, it's, right, I was saying when we were watching it, because as you said how, like, you don't feel safe watching Daniel Bryan because he's just come back from an injury. And I was saying there's a difference between watching Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. You can tell Roman Reigns is not ready to come back. He yeah. still looks like he's in pain and all this. Daniel Bryan is going for it. He's like, I'm back, I'm ready to do it. Because he's had the time he needs. Yeah. Um, but I think it's also because Daniel Bryan has worked his way up to get to WWE. Roman Reigns has had a different way of getting into it. Yeah. So I think he's used to more injury time, and Daniel Bryan's not. Because yeah. he did, Daniel Bryan did the whole indie circuit and everything. Yeah. And Roman Reigns used to be a footballer. Yeah, and so. his uh, uncle's Rikishi. <laughs> do you remember Rikishi? No. <gasps> you don't, do you know who Rikishi is? I might have saw him. i going to show you a clip of <laughs> I love Rikishi. Who's the He's one with the Scotty Too Cool? Do you remember Scotty Too Cool? No. Scotty Too Hottie. Scotty Too Hottie. Do you remember Scotty Too Hottie? No. He's the worm in the middle of the ring when he entered. <laughs> oh my god, I love them two together. They're a tag team. Who is the you. guy that had the tattoo on his face? Um, um, Umaga. Umaga. Oh. He look, the Usos look like a skinny version of him. I don't like Umaga. I no, he was rubbish, but the Usos look like skinny versions. 
Yes. They do! But I'll show you, I'll show you Rikishi. Yeah, I, I'm out of touch. Think face, it was his special move. <laughs> anyway, the rest broke that up. Yeah, that, damn you, rest. Or like, do you get really boring? Yeah, like, Kane and Daniel Bryan have showed you very good matches together, because they're also tag team and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Because I remember all this, because that's when I got back into it for a little while. So I kind of saw their feud happening. But, he was just on top of him punching him. Yeah, it was like, oh, can someone hurry up and break Yeah. <laughs> it was like for a good minute. Yeah. You couldn't even see Kane. Kane, no, just, Kane was just legs. <laughs> Kane, Kane was just laying there like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> this can't fall over lying down. Like <laughs> <laughs> Check out our Instagram. <laughs> you need to look at it. I will not go on about it. It still makes me laugh to this day. <laughs> I think it makes me laugh so much because I actually watched <coughs> the Raw before we actually reviewed it and I didn't even know. And I just noticed it, didn't I? I yeah, like, straight away. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we then went backstage to another curtain, and uh, Seth was talking to Jay and Jay Security about going to like he's going to win the championship, he's going to pin him one, two, three. Yeah. They're like turn around, turn around, so turn around, turn around. Every now and then I fall apart, and I need this championship. <laughs> and I need it more than ever. Anyway. <laughs> We like to turn Seth into a bit of a musical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it down the stairs. Anyway, <laughs> that CD will be out soon. <laughs> Hits of Seth Rollins. We should have asked since we've done that. I know, right? I um, hate to put clips together. <laughs> yeah, and basically, <coughs> Brock's like, oh, this cute. You think you weaseled your way into this championship match? You had to really go close to hear him because yeah, he he's so quiet. He's not a showman. No, he's not in the slightest. But I did kind of like their little stare, stare off. down yeah, and they kind yeah. of what he was. They kind of reacted nicely to each other, yeah. which was good. I know the same part, which is really weird. Yeah, I thought Brock was a lot taller. Yeah. Um, and then Paul Heyman was in the middle of them. <laughs> we all, <laughs> not now. We we are teaming together. Impressive what you did earlier, yeah. Seth. But no, John. we are going to beat John together. <laughs> it's what that further pushes him to. The hint of him being a Heyman guy. Yeah. Which I think it'll happen once the authority's gone for good. But yeah. it makes me think, are oh, they getting rid of the authority soon again? Oh, really? I hope they get rid of them um, for good. Yeah. Please. Like, I don't mind if you keep Steph and Triple H. But just not... But not as the authority. Yeah. Like, I'm happy for them to stay. It's fine, because... Like, Can't they be, like, good guys for a change? Yeah. I think they'd be just, quite a nice change of scenery. Yeah, just don't let them be the authority. Yeah. Like... Triple H, like everyone says NXT, so <coughs> it's Triple H is running it, not Vincent Man. Yeah. Like that could, like just send him over there. <laughs> like, he's still in the company, he's still, and everyone's watching NXT now, yeah. apart from us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apart from us. <clears throat> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah. But yeah. We ain't got the time. We <laughs> better get the time to do this. Yeah. That's <laughs> why so I get so behind sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. That was that, that really. Yeah. Don't know what's going to happen in the summer, guys. God. It better get a good thing. Yeah. Because I don't know what else you're going to do. Because I'm just going to have to drop it. Soz. <laughs> so, support us. <laughs> this could be over. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Oh, there is. As long as we can. Yeah. Somehow. Some way. I'll just have to watch it on my breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I come around yeah. just after work, like, 10 o'clock at night. Like. So this uh, happened this today. Happened. Uh, I've only watched one batch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you just walk, talk, and I'll improvise. Yeah. <laughs> you tell what happened, I'll nod. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're rambling now. <laughs> um, so then we had a Divas match. It was Brie Bella versus Paige, and um, Nikki was on the outside, and so was Tyson Kidd and Natalia. I don't get it. Yeah, unless you watch Total Divas, I yeah. think you're gonna get it. Um, <clears throat> we like don't. we're like a season and a half behind anyway over here. Yeah, if you did want to watch it. It's so it's irrelevant. You can actually watch it online though, on E. Oh, the online E website. Really? Yeah. It doesn't block it? No, they actually promote watching it on there. Really? I think WWE send a link out, actually. They sent one out. So well. You have to watch it as it's on, on oh, like the telly. Oh, kind of like thing. streamy kind of. Yeah. yeah, so by the time it's shown <coughs> there, it's too late for me to watch it. Yeah, so they're still going to get the ratings over here when yeah. it comes out. Yeah. Um, it's quite a good fan though it is um, the match itself I didn't really enjoy it I thought it was just a bit yeah. like I thought the Alicia Fox and Naomi match was better yeah and Naomi had her arm up behind her back yeah so yeah it's just the same old rubbish and Brie screams too much Brie it's like no one cares no no one cares like now Daniel Bryan's back no one cares yeah. okay um, 
And Nikki must be into us, like, she hasn't done much recently. She hasn't, has she? No. Yeah. She hasn't, she's been out of that. Or it's the title thing. Title thing. Well, like, AJ didn't wrestle. That's because she was injured, though. I know, but when she did wrestle, like, sometimes she'd wrestle well. She'd yeah. have the odd match. It was good. Yeah. So, don't know. But, um, Brie Bella won that because Tyson Kidd come into the ring and distracted everyone for some reason. He thinks the diva, I swear. He is like, a diva. When he's with Cesaro, he's like a bro. And then when he's in the tarnit, he's like, I'm a diva. I'm a total diva. And it's like, what? And then he wears cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like, it's two different characters. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Paige was really annoyed about this and she went and slapped him on the face. Which is quite good, actually. <laughs> and uh, Natalia started laughing or something. She's like smiling about it. Yeah. So, Tumble yeah. in Paradise. <gasps> apparently they're getting divorced, aren't they? Yeah. But apparently. We say that. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. Last minute runs the airport. I'm sure they'll do that on there. Uh, yeah. Totally. Wait, even. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> um. Then we went to Bray Wyatt in his box with oh, the smoke. I forgot about this, yeah. <laughs> he always has the same yeah. setting. And he's just basically saying <coughs> how he's going to beat everyone at Royal Rumble again and he's going to beat all these 29 people. And... Rah, rah, rah. Oh, boy. He's got no purpose at the moment, has he? He's no, gonna... I don't he know what... doesn't. I don't know what to do with him. Well, because you can't feud against 30 men that you don't know are coming out, or 29 men, <laughs> yeah. that you don't know are coming out. So he's just got to stick with the promos for a while. Yeah. <laughs> God. Um oh, uh, we then cut to a promo, well, promo VT, I'd say, maybe more VT, of uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. And yeah. It was announced that he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, which is nice and everything, but it's a bit too late, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like, it would have been nice for him to be uh, alive to have received yeah. that. Yeah. Like, if I look at the clips, because, obviously, I, I didn't watch WWE back then. I'm quite intrigued to go back and watch now. Mm. Um, like, because I've always known the name Randy Savage, but I didn't... I've never been so intrigued to go back that far yeah um but like them clips are old you could tell they're from the 70s and the 80s or whatever yeah why is it taking so long yeah like everyone like hulk hogan's in it in triple h in it is triple h no no like there's quite a fair few people who are in it who are a lot like divas who are in still wrestling like a couple years ago yeah like there's people who (coughs) like and newer than him. And it, I, I find it a bit weird that he's been put in it. I, I feel like they've just done it just because he's died. No, they haven't, they? Like, that, yeah. That's all it is. That is all it is. And that's really disappointing. They yeah. should have done it when he was alive, they were gonna. I mean, maybe that was their plan, because I know he was at the Hall of Fame last yeah. year. Yeah. So maybe that was their plan to do it this year, but unfortunately, like, you know. Accidents happen. Yeah. But yeah, that's some positive life and life and yeah. change, I suppose. I like, the, like it when they do the Hall of Fame bit. Yeah. And he was Did you get to see clips you've never seen before? Yeah. Like, I've never watched. I've never watched him. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna go. Oh yeah, he was brilliant, a legend. Yeah. Um, probably was a legend, but I haven't seen it. So it'd be nice to go back and watch that documentary they were advertising. Though. Yeah. Never mind. Um, and Hulk Hogan inducted him. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um. So then we had the ascension. Uh, again, they were against some random people. We noticed they're always near the end. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Uh, Maybe it's time filler. Like, oh, we're running a bit fast. Yeah. <laughs> Get the attention out there. <laughs> um, yeah, and again, I'm so sick of oh, seeing them. Oh, jobbers. I'm sick of it. Like, why do you want to see that? Like, seriously. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to see You've it. You've got people you don't use on yeah. your roster. Get them to fight someone like Tyson King Cesaro. I think it'd be much more interesting than them against New Day. Yeah. Like, New Day... Are, they literally suck the soul out of me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why they're so happy and positive. Yeah. Because like, we suck it out of everyone. Else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically. But they essentially did have that good move. They chucked that guy in the air and then slammed, slammed him down. down. That was that good. was good. But that might be a one-off. Yeah. You never know, because I haven't seen him do that since. But I think I'd appreciate them more. But I think they're getting better. Like yeah, they're getting they're- better. But you can't appreciate when it's against random people you don't know. Because they're just throwing these people around. They're not resting back. Yeah, exactly. So I'd rather see them against someone like yeah. maybe God. Because they are trying to make them look good by doing that, but there's, no one's retaliating. Yeah. And I think I reckon the reason they're putting them against them that many times is because they can't cooperate cooperate with anyone else very well. As in, like, make them actually look good by going yeah. against anyone else. I think it'll look awful. 
Yeah. I don't, I don't know. They get over, like, outshined by the other team. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. Um, we then went backstage to Dean Ambrose and his psychiatrist. And there was a bit of a plot twist. Um, <laughs> so it turned out Dean Ambrose was now a psychiatrist. And this psychiatrist was like, having a mental breakdown on yeah. the sofa. And uh, <coughs> Dean was like, it's weird you sit down you while sit you pee. And then... He's like, ah! Oh my god. But he signed Dean Ambrose's papers, so Dean Ambrose is now officially in the Royal Rumble match. <laughs> which is all good. Would well, you really have Royal Rumble without him? I know, come on guys. Um, Hit news flash, he gets, he gets injured on Smackdown tonight. Oh god, yeah. Uh, Funny. That's what makes you laugh, right? Because they're saying it's the first ever Smackdown on Thursday. It, it always used to, to be, be on Thursday. Thursday. Like, do you think everyone's that new, a watcher, but yeah. they don't know that? Like... It's been on Thursdays for like since it started, and it went to like Fridays, like probably like five, ten yeah, years ago. Yeah, not that long ago. Yeah, about ten years ago. It's about ten years ago. Yeah, about ten years ago. No, it's about two thousand five, two thousand eight. Oh, the time goes fast. Yeah. I do. It might be not ten years ago. <laughs> maybe, maybe more ten. Ten years ago, it makes you think of the nineties. Yeah, it's two thousand five. Oh my god! I think it was like two thousand eight. They like, went to Fridays. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You can't say it's the first Thursday. No. And they use John Cena to promo it, and it's like, John Cena's on Smackdown! He's what? never on it. He's never on Issues. it. Issues. This is false advertisement. You can get sued for that. <laughs> Just yeah, saying. Yeah, can be sued. <laughs> money. Well, I can't say it's a mess. So then we went to Rusev. I thought we'd escaped Rusev. Yeah. Is that ain't been on yet? Uh, I don't know who said. And Lana was talking about her usual rubbish. Um... Like a new brown suit. Yeah, it was quite nice actually. Yeah. It suited her. It didn't but make she her... had a few stray hairs. Yeah. Yeah. But she didn't look so trashy. No, it's good. It looked quite nice. Um, she um, <coughs> she was talking about Ryback being sacked, basically, and that was a good thing. Yeah. And that John Cena's an idiot. Or did him a favour? I don't know. I, she, she I don't Cena. understand that. Yeah, and then Rusev grabs a microphone and he sounds more American every time he speaks. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I am your US champion. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm learning your language and your accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bell, it just gives him a new way of life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a US person now. <laughs> and then Dean Ambrose come out and laid the smacketh down on him and started being <laughs> like, to, to be fair, it did start off all right. And then I lost interest. Yeah, then the match happened. <laughs> yeah, it, it was good. And then we had adverts. And then it wasn't good anymore. And then it's like, this is a match. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and Dean injured his knee again. Yeah. And from that point out, Rusev dominated. And that's where I lost interest. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the ref then stopped the match because of Dean's injury. Dean hasn't won lately. No, he hasn't. And Dean was furious about this all, and then he got kicked to the face by Rusev. Yeah. So I can see that being a feud, which I'm not happy with. No. Yeah. That is not good. Um. So then we had the last thing of this evening was a contract signing for the WWE Championship match, which is the triple threat, which is obviously John Cena, Brock Lesnar, uh, and Seth Rollins. Uh, I'm glad it didn't go on longer than ten minutes. Yeah. I mean, most of it was them walking out. Yeah, Did which we know? skipped through, so yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Um, but they'll they'll just talk smack. Yeah. Basically, and said, "Oh, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, I'm gonna beat you. Look at all this stuff. This amazing things <laughs> I did. I brought back the shield. I brought back. I destroyed the shield. Yeah. I then brought back the authority and money in the bank." Brock's like, I won this championship and I did this streak and John Cena's just very quiet. John Cena's very quiet, weren't he? It's very fucking strange. I suck Vince McMahon off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was just basically like, I don't have to pin you to win, Brock. <laughs> and then it was just like... Because I suck Vince McMahon. <laughs> I could just win by doing this. <laughs> and then uh, Seth's like, oh, you two... Ooh. We're lagging! Seth's like, oh, you two are going to like totally... like." Guy up against me or whatever, blah, blah blah. And then in the end, they all signed the contract really angrily. Yeah, Brock was like, "I'm gonna scribble all over the page," <laughs> just to make it clear that I am contract signing this. And um, then you know how it happens, contract signing. They all start wrestling each other <laughs> and attacking each other. I can't remember who started this. Uh, Seth. 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 Got yeah. His brute, he didn't he, something. He went to hit John Cena. John Cena. He was like, "Oh, if you get to the Royal Rumble, like yeah." That. Uh, right to and then Brock threw back John and then threw back Seth really hard. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, suplex. That's yeah, suplex. Throwback. <laughs> Throwback him really hard. <laughs> I was like, what is she all about? I was like, what? Have yeah. I missed something? <laughs> but yeah, he suplexed you like really I hard. I can't watch him do suplexes. No, I, I feel like he's going to break someone's yeah, back. Yeah, or neck or something. Yeah. It's horrible. Um, yeah, so then John Cena, um, F5, F U, what's his name? What's his second name? Attitude adjusted. Attitude adjusted. Brock I Lesnar. actually remembered <laughs> one. <laughs> he attitude adjusted Brock Lesnar onto the table. <laughs> it's so wrong. <sighs> Attitude adjust. I can't say attitude adjust. He attitude adjusted him. It does not sound right, okay? This makes me pee. I know! What are you doing, John Cena? Um, that sounded really painful. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, and then um, Seth curb stomped everyone. <laughs> and that was it. That was the end. But um, Brock Lesnar pulling off a curb stomp was the most hilarious. <laughs> it looked like his nose went like this on the thing. <laughs> It was just literally. Yeah, he didn't put his hand away to stop his face hitting the mat. He just like face planted the mat, and I was just wetting myself. Go back and watch it. It's, it's worth fun. a watch. Yeah. Um. And you know that's cool that Seth actually come out on top. But um, Triple H was pissed off throughout that whole segment. <laughs> he wasn't excited. Like, he wasn't even standing next to Steph. I think he was like, "This should be my moment. I should be that." Or he was thinking about his dinner. Yeah. Fish and chips. Can have a lasagna. <laughs> yeah, he just looked so disinterested. He was just in another world. He was. He's probably planning the next tea. He's like, Russia's better than this. Yeah, probably. Um, so, yeah, what should we rate this show, Carol? Well, I am not impressed with this raw. It was awful. I'm going to say one. Yeah, we should get one again. Yeah, because it's a great yeah. start to January 2015. Yeah, it's like that. In our graph. In our graph. That we have yet. We'll be at the bottom of the scale. <laughs> Let's hope it goes up, but it's pretty gonna go down. Yeah. I'll wait for the, the episode we have a 0.5. <laughs> yeah. Jerry really. <laughs> Jerry raised it to 0.5. 0.3 next week. <laughs> gonna get into minus numbers. <laughs> we make this show a minus two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a minus two because it's insulted me greatly. <laughs> so we got some more questions. Yes, so. We do. Yeah. So this one is from a new. Person. person. I don't know if he's following us anymore, but I'll tag him. So. <laughs> Hi. Uh, this is Owen Rover. Um, and his question to us was, do you think John Cena can win? Um, I'm assuming it means the Royal Rumble. Um, like the match at Royal Rumble that we just witnessed the signing for. Yeah. Um, he could win. I, I don't want him to win, but he could win. I My instinct is no. Uh, yeah, like, my main instinct says no. I don't think there's a chance in hell that Seth's going to win. No. I don't think there's a chance in hell. I would love it if oh, Seth won. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely between Brock and John. So I'd say 50-50. See, in my, my instinct is that Brock's going to win. Normally, if John Cena wins, I know. Because a lot of my matches at pay-per-views, I always choose John and I'm lucky and I win. Yeah. Uh, apart from, I think, like, champions, we both said Brock. From memory, yeah, I can't remember now. But my instinct is Brock's not gonna—he's gonna lose at WrestleMania. I think. I think part of me is like I want John. Well, I don't want John to win, but I think John should win just to Seth and cash it in. Yeah, because I don't think there's gonna be another chance for him to do it until WrestleMania. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see uh, how it goes. But I, I think John can win. Maybe, but I don't. It would none of them. If John wins, it'd be by pinning Seth. Yeah, it, it would, would not be by, be by pinning Brock. Uh, Brock. It not a chance in hell. So <clears throat> yeah, he can win, but we don't think he will. Yeah, it'd go fifty fifty. But my instinct is, I don't think he's gonna. But Coral's on the fence. Yeah, yeah. So which there. means when we do our predictions, I'll predict John. So we'd have to predict Coral. I said John's gonna. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I said Brock's gonna. Yeah. Okay. So watch out for our predictions. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> you said the words right out of my mouth. Magic. <laughs> we have another question. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got two this time. And it's from another new person. Oh, yeah, we've been talking to him a lot, though. Yeah, we love lovely. him. Yeah, we do love him. Have a good conversation with him as well. I started recommending films, Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, I know. It's been really Yeah, because yeah. we're both flicking it out. If you don't know yet, we both use the same Twitter, so you don't know which one we're talking to half the yeah, time. Yeah, unless you ask us. So we're like, oh, yeah, it's cool. But... 
sometimes like, I'll be talking for about half an hour and I'll go make dinner and then Ashley takes over and yeah. tag team. <laughs> but you won't realise. No. It's quite funny. It's just whoever gets the notification first, first really. Yeah. <laughs> so it's quite good because the notification disappears on iPhones. We both have iPhones, so they disappear. I don't know if it does it on like, Androids, but it basically, because we both logged into the same thing because we've looked at it. It goes off. It goes off on the other one, so it's 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 quite handy. It's good. Yeah. So, yeah. but sometimes it does mean we miss conversations. Yeah, we sorry need to apologise to Wilton. Yeah, sorry, Wilton. We, we, we yeah. left him hanging for what a week. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, don't know how. I was looking for our messages. Like Carl, we forgot to reply to Wilton. <laughs> I was like, oh no, we <laughs> love Wilton. He draws yeah. pictures. It's brilliant. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Anyway, Wilton. we'll tag you too. Yeah, sorry, Wilton. We have a question from H Burke eighteen, another fellow Brit. Yeah, we like you. We do like you. We do like all our, our people that talk to us. So talk to us. Yeah, we do. We have a we, lot, we, we, we do, do enjoy it. Us. Don't yeah. feel like you can't talk to us. No. We, we we love to hear your opinions and stuff as well. Because yeah. it's something we can discuss. And plus, the spot <coughs> five note though, don't ask us for porn and stuff. No. Because we had some weird guy asking us for like, sex videos the other day. We was like, we're like uh, no. no. Sorry. Coral handled that pretty well. She yeah. said, I've given up. Good night. <laughs> I was like, you can't just go around asking people for porn. Who do you think we are? And uh, yeah, Gosh, guys. Yeah, I mean, come on. You can you... get it for free on the internet. Why do you want it from us? Yeah, come on, just go get it somewhere else. They got bigger boobs than us. Anyway, oh, um, the question. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> bit sidetracked. <laughs> it's taken us three attempts to do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hback eighteen. What? Uh, I can't remember that. Who do you girls think will be in the main event of Mania? Hmm. Part of it's just like John. <laughs> I think I I personally think Roman Reigns and um, Brock Lesnar hmm. or Undertaker and Bray or Triple H and Sting. No, it's going to be a championship. I reckon that's my thought process. What's it's usually the main event? Yeah, the championship always. Without a doubt. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be Brock and Roman Reigns, I reckon. Or Brock and John Cena. No. It wouldn't surprise me. I don't think it'd be John Cena. I hope it's not John Cena, yeah. but I reckon it might. He wasn't in last year's main event. Maybe not. Who was it? Oh, da- who was it? It was Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, Batista, and Randy Orton. Was it not? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I think it's going to be John Cena. No, I don't think it's going to be John Cena. I think it's going to be um, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Mm. Come on, Corey, you have to give an answer. Uh, Come on. John Roll. John, John Cena or Brock. Oh, no! I'm going to be hugely disappointed if that happens. But the Royal Rumble winner is the main event of WrestleMania. John Cena or Brock. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they My, lose the match and go in the Royal Rumble and then John's like, yeah, I'm the one yeah. I just feel like, <laughs> like Roman Reigns. I've got money on Roman Reigns winning. Uh, Rumble. Royal Rumble. I I'm actually looking somewhere to bet for. <laughs> um, but I just, it, I think if it is, I don't think it'd be. Main. I reckon it will pass over to John Cena, and John Cena will be in the main event somehow. No, I don't think so. Mm. What is he? Just you know, he sucks with Vincent Man after me. I hope that answered your question. I also to say hi to uh, Jamie Powell. That's uh, at jmoss6006. You're cool. He's been talking to us as well. So. See, so that's he will talk to us now. Yeah, it's nice. It is really nice to have people having a bit of a chat. Very, um, very true. Yeah, just talk to us about WWE or ask me for film or TV recommendations. <laughs> to be fair, that. it's mainly Coral that talks to you guys, so... Because I'm busy. Yeah, you tend to tweet more, Yeah, like, about the matches and stuff. Because yeah. Ashley tends to watch it before. before I get here. And then we watch it together and discuss. So she gets a lot more of the reaction. I tend to message, unless I'm away from my phone. But it's because you guys tend to message us when you're at work. Yeah, and I'm like, I can't answer this. Yeah. Carl will take over. <laughs> yeah. So, majority of the time it's me, but it can also be Ashley if I'm making dinner and it's stuff. It's like a mystery surprise. I know. Which it's one? Like, who is it? You just start trying to guess who it is. That'd be fun. Oh, that'd be fun. You'd be like, are you Ashley? Ashley? It's like a 30% chance of Ashley, 70% chance of me. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. But anyway, guys. <laughs> we just rambled. Yeah. Back to uh, <laughs> don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tweet us, talk to us. Yeah. Come on, comment below. We like the comments below. We've actually, our John Cena art video has people arguing amongst themselves. Yeah, it's so it's funny. brilliant. <laughs> I love looking at that. If you haven't seen our John Cena art, check it out now. It's got 400 views. Yeah, it's got over 400 views and share it. I'm sure like people on your like newsfeed would love it. So yes. tweet it, share it. Get our names out there because one day we will write for the WWE. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. watching this going, oh God. <laughs> well, but, the commentators from WWE, favourite in our yeah, video. Sebastian Hackle. Hackle. We love you. Yes, we, we do. do. We love, we love Sab. Sab. Um, Sab. He, he's Sab. been with us right from the beginning, though. He has, hasn't he? Ever since like, our second video or whatever. Because we fell in love with him, didn't we? Well, like, yeah. When we first saw him, we were like, oh my God. Yeah. He's so happy. He's so adorable. So yeah, he actually supports us. It's nice. Yeah. And uh, he gives us a tweet and a retweet every now and then and a favourite and then he talks, talks to us. us. It's quite nice. Um, but yeah. Talk yeah. to us. Like, share, subscribe, talk to us. Retweet, retumble. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. Like the video. <laughs>